Hey, Molly here. Welcome back. As we're going to take a look at the energies of the earth signs. And the earth signs are Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And we're going to talk about specifically how you work with these energies in your chart, how you run energy through you that could be quite unconscious until you understand more of the dynamics of the earth signs, how they naturally operate and how to make it work for you, as well as some things to be aware of in terms of how you might come across or how you might be different from some of the other elements. So the earth signs are essentially about the physical world. What you see is what you get. And you're very much about what is evident, what you can see, touch, hear, you know, anything with the five senses is very strong for the earth signs. In fact, you could feel quite activated and alive when you're in an environment that really speaks to you, that really resonates with you. Like you can feel very at home with your environment. And that's a really important thing to note because you more than any of the other elements are very aware of your environment of what's happening around you because you look for that as a demonstration of your energy as well as what you naturally connect to. So your own environment is very key to feeling strong and clear in your energy, knowing what that is, knowing if that's being by the ocean or being out in the forest or in the mountains or just anything in your personal space is very important to you because how you run energy is really through the five senses. So those are very alive for you. This makes the earth signs very physical, very sensual, very much about what, again, you can see and touch, what you're looking at and you're taking in, especially visually, and especially through even like the textiles or textures of the environment around you. So it's important to note that because if you were to change up your own environment, you might feel that it really resonates with you even more and that it fits you in a way that feels very natural and even very calming. So the earth signs are about not only what you can see, but proof. Where's the evidence? Show me, show me what you're talking about. Show me something. So you're very visual because the earth signs need to see it. And that's how you know it's real. Um, again, there's something here where you're looking for proof. <laughs> and this could be the case even at work, in your relationships, at home, with family. There's things you're looking for evidence of. If someone tells you a story, you want to see something about that. You want to see it demonstrated. You want to see it come to life. And that's just naturally what you're looking for. Now, yes, you can have an amazing imagination and wonderful things happening in the other realms, but you're very grounded and the energy that you hold in your body is really important because again, because you are connected to the earthly elements, your physical body is very important in how you move through life and how you move through your world. So prioritizing your health is important. Understanding that what you eat, your lifestyle, your habits, all these things are really important for your energetic alignment. It's part of how you run energy. It's part of how you can feel that you are at your optimum, that you're strong, you're confident because of what your body feels like. And if anything is lacking, if there's a part of your energy that's feeling drained or heavy, look to what your body needs because it's gonna tell you what you can improve and change. Now, because you're very focused on the world at large, what you see on perhaps a screen, music you listen to, anything around you, it's also important that you have a way to step back from some of the heaviness or burdens of the world. Because the earth signs can really be in that place of connection where you're really, you're like really alive in the world. You're really aware of what's going on and it can feel like a lot. And you're going to need ways to step out of it, step away from it, give yourself a break, understand that it's okay to question what's real. <laughs> and that sometimes you're looking at, is this real to me? Is this in alignment with me, with my values, with how I'm living my life? Is this true for me? So you want to take time to question it because we live in a physical world and there's so much around us that's very alive and speaking to us. And you want to be aware 
of what you're responding to, what you're receiving, and what you're taking in. Now, another way that you run energy naturally is again through proof and documentation of things. And there could be many times when someone is like sharing something with you or wanting you to understand that you need something tangible to get it. You know, like again, the proof, you need something that's the evidence. And this could be something that certainly works in your favor, that is wonderful for how you digest and take in information. But it's also important to note that you have multiple energies available for you, that you have intuition, you have an emotional world, you, you have you know motivation and inspiration, and that there's gonna be times that you're gonna need to like, it's like breaking out of, I'm gonna call it what's real. Like you're gonna need a way to move the energy that is satisfying for you, that is realistic, practical, all key words for the earth signs, but that help you connect with the other parts of your energy that deserve attention as well. Meaning, don't be overly focused or overly burdened by the real world too much. Have an outlet, have a place you go that gives you life, that gives you inspiration, that gives you movement, so that you can feel that moving not only through you, it's like a life force moving through you, but that you're not too, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna say stuck, because on the low days, you could feel stuck by your reality. You could feel caged or trapped or confined, but you have so many other ways that you can make something else open up. I mean, the earth signs are beautiful at creating wonderful things in our lives for us to enjoy, that bring us pleasure and satisfaction and good things. So you might need to give yourself that outlet so that you have something that's really good for you, like really good for you at a mind, body, soul level. Now, because you run energy through the, uh, it's like the verdicts of proof, evidence, documentation, I need to see it to believe it. It's important to understand that other people don't experience reality in that way. And they could intellectualize it, like the air signs or the water signs, they're gonna feel it. They're gonna feel what you're saying or feel what you're creating. So your understanding that how you perceive and receive energy is gonna be different than how others do. And to notice that either in yourself or in your loved ones and your family members, because it's gonna help explain all the various perceptions that we have of this world and of various experiences. And also that what you're seeing is real and what you're seeing is what you're connecting to, but other people are gonna see something in a different way. They're gonna feel it in a different way or sense it, or they're gonna see the exact same photograph, but they're gonna intellectualize it in a different way. So know that your perceptions are unique, especially to the earth signs and if you have mercury in an earth sign, and that you're really much about what's in front of you, what's practical, what's realistic. But of course, there's a whole spectrum of energies out there that see things through a different lens. Now, one of the ways that you can ensure that you're consciously working with your energy is by noticing that the complementary energy to earth signs is water. And all you have to do is look at the Grand Canyon and look at how that Grand Canyon was carved through the water. So water helps shape and refine the earth energy. And even if you were to look at a river and all the rocks that are smoothed over by the water, by the waves, and how it makes it even more beautiful, water is something you can work with to really refine how you're feeling, tap into what you're feeling, get to the heart of something within you, or understand more of how you can move energy through you. And the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces are complementary to the earth signs. They work together nicely when they understand each other's strengths. And that can create a harmony and a synergy that could feel really nourishing, really balancing, really strong. Also remind you how earth can be very concrete, right? Very concrete. But again, going back to the river flowing over the rocks, the water brings in movement. 
what needs to move through you, where if you are stagnant or stuck, there could be something that needs to flow through you, something that needs to be released. And that is something that you can consciously work with through the water elements. So earth signs, you are often very strong, robust. Uh, there's energies here where you, you are clear in how you show up in what matters to you. Uh, what you want to create in your life that's tangible, that's real, uh, that, that demonstrates who you are, that really shows this is what my life is about, this is what my world is about, and you do it through those physical expressions as well as through the five senses. And this can feel very satisfying for you, just a part of who you naturally are. So I hope this has given you some good insights and good things to be aware of about how your energy works and how to make it more refined, how to improve it, and certainly how to make it work for you in a way that really supports you in what you need. Thank you so much for joining me for this brief video. I have three other videos for you on the three other elements. Be sure and check those out if you have other elements strong in your natal astrology chart. Otherwise, be sure and check out my playlists here on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll be back soon with another video.